Good day and welcome to the Post Cabinet Briefing for August 21st and 22nd and September 2nd, 2019. I am Les Roy Williams. The formal meetings of the Federal Cabinet were convened on Wednesday, August 21st, Thursday, August 22nd, and Monday, September 2nd, 2019, and were all chaired by Prime Minister, Dr. The Honorable Timothy Harris. Here are the salient matters that were addressed in those three meetings, as well as the decisions taken on a number of socioeconomic matters. The Cabinet considered and approved plans for the National Consultation on the Economy and the 2020 Budget Cycle. The consultation was set for Tuesday, October 8, 2019, and would be held under the theme, Making a Difference, Moving Our Nation Forward. The estimates meetings have been scheduled for October 9th to 11th, 2019. Cabinet considered the legislative calendar for the Parliament for the rest of 2019. It was agreed that tentative dates for the next two sittings of Parliament would be September 3rd and 17th, 2019. The Cabinet approved the new sanitation and public health initiative regarding the handling of household waste being managed by the Solid Waste Management Corporation. The SWMC would soon provide public education on the new waste bin program. Cabinet considered and approved the appointment of the following three individuals to fill vacancies on the St. Christopher and Nevis General Nurses and Midwives Council. Dr. Rondalyn Dennis Bradshaw of the Clarence Fitzroy Bryant College, Nurse Davida Irish, Coordinator of Community-Based Nursing Services, and Retired Nurse Miss Elizabeth Woodley. Cabinet received the delegation from stakeholders in the tourism and allied services sector, which included representation from St. Kitts Tourism Authority and cruise line agents and tour operators in the private sector. The main focus of the meeting was a discussion on ongoing developments regarding construction of the second cruise pier at Port Zante, including but not limited to the upland development. Cabinet was updated by the Honorable Minister of Education on the opening of the new school year and the challenges with its reopening insofar as Kayon High School is concerned. It was the intention of the Minister to provide a national statement on these challenges which the Ministry had been addressing since it first became aware of the problems just prior to the closure of school in early July. The Honourable Minister assured the Cabinet that an ongoing program of inspection and repairs had been put in place in all public schools in St. Kitts as a precautionary measure. The next meeting of the Cabinet is scheduled for Saturday, September 7, 2019. This has been your post-Cabinet briefing for August 21st and 22nd and September 2nd, 2019. Thank you for viewing. I am Les Roy Williams, Director General of the St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service. Thank <laughs> you.